Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're jumping back on the 440cc golf cart. So in the last video, that torque converter actually come loose. So we're gonna try and tighten that up and have a play around with that this week. But actually I did pick up a new metal lathe for the workshop. So this thing is an absolute beast. I cannot wait to get stuck into this thing and just learn all the tooling and all that stuff and how to use these things. Now I did actually pick up a plasma cutter and a big drill press as well and a couple other little things. So I'll just show you guys that now, but I'm absolutely wrapped. This is really a game changer for the channel. All right, so here's a little lathe here. This thing I got for an absolute steal at 600 bucks. I could not believe it. I jumped straight onto it and picked it up that night. Um, now it doesn't have a huge inside diameter for boring out stuff. It's about, I think it's about 15 to 18 mil or something. But this thing will definitely help us with fine tuning everything. Now it does need a good clean up. As you can see, there's just grease everywhere and the grease has gone all um, hard and it's actually sort of binding up the threads and that, so I'll have to clean this thing up. But yeah, he also included this old table. I've just put this three mil top on um, and plasma cutted that out with the new plasma cutter he also sold me too. So that thing works an absolute treat. And over here, we actually picked up a little five horsepower Robin engine. Um, this thing looks super cool. The actual fuel tank's not made for it, but I reckon we're gonna put that in a little mini bike um, and with some nice 10 inch fat wheels or something on it. Okay guys, just wanna take a quick break and talk about today's video sponsor, Helmet Carts. These guys are your one stop shop for all your buggy, go kart, mini bike, drift trike, or power wheels needs. They sell everything from wheels to tire combos, suspension, steering, seats, engines, or complete buggies, go karts, and mini bikes ready to go. So jump over and check out their website. Link is in the description and use promo code E2. D at the checkout to get 10% off your first purchase. All right, so I've now got that put back on. That split pin worked really well. So that's gonna keep that nut on that shaft. Um, and I've machined down that spacer in the middle there. So it all runs nice and true now. Double nutted those. Now I did actually try and put this on the lathe too because I wanted to lay down this edge just to make it a little bit neater, but um, it wouldn't actually fit. So next thing I'm gonna do is put this sprocket and match it up with the back one.
Uh, so there you have it from this standard old carby uh, to a 140cc carby, which this thing is just a massive upgrade. I made up these little adapter plates from there to there, and I've got a um, bit of steel piping from that left over from that exhaust. I will clean the insides out. Um, yeah, I've got this carby pretty damn level, so, and it's actually not gonna hit anything like it was before, because we were hit, actually hitting up on here. And we've got our needle down in there, so I have to try and adapt that um, throttle cable here to that needle. And we can put whatever air intake we want on there. It's actually a massive, improvement in the diameter inside this is so much bigger so hopefully this will handle a bit more power um, and give us a bit more throttle response like we like we want now i will have to try and plumb this pcv also into the intake as well as it was in there before Alrighty guys, I have to end this one here. Got a lot done in today's video. Um, it did take about three hours to make up that carby mount and I did actually spend a lot of time today um, setting up that new lathe, so I'm really happy with that. Yeah, hopefully in the next video, guys, we'll be jumping onto that mini Jeep. I know I have been saying for the last couple of weeks that I will be working on it soon, but just gotta be patient with me here, guys. I've got um, some stuff getting sent with all this COVID. Um, it's actually all the couriers have been really delayed lately. So yeah, hopefully the parts will come here soon for that and we can start jumping onto that. If you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. It really helps it get put out to suggested videos. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, notification bell, so you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in the next one.